first of all, I think, you know, I heard the Tonish this morning, um, I heard the, the, the Taoiseach as well, and this is a constant refrain of these. You know, Fianna Fáil didn't cause the crisis in Italy, Spain, Portugal, the United Kingdom moving into an hour, a triple dip recession. This is a full blown Eurozone crisis and has been a full blown crisis really of the developed economic world since 2008. It's globally an unprecedented crisis, which as Krugman, the uh, reputable economist, has said, is um, first and foremost a financial and banking collapse that subsequently had a terrible impact on the sovereign. Now, we made contributions to it, I've said that, I've acknowledged that, um, professionally. But it is utterly, overly simplistic to say one political party caused this crisis. It's grand for political sort of um, um, uh, refrains and sound bites, but it's not dealing with the real world either. Um, and remember, the government said they would burn bond holders, other government parties did before the election. They didn't. They said not another red cent for banks. There were plenty more red cents for banks. Um, you know, they, they not only did they not burn any bond holders, they even honoured uh, unguaranteed and unsecured bond holders to the tune of 16 billion unsecured and unguaranteed and 40 odd billion um, unguaranteed. Nothing at all to do with bank guarantees. Um, and, you know, there's been a lot of I mean, the college this morning saying they were about to run out of money when they came in, it's just patently untrue. You know, whatever you likes or dislikes, the, the, the Troika deal was in place before this government came into power, which basically guaranteed, guaranteed a funding line for three years at a 3% income. So let's get, let's give it thanks. Um, I think what's most disappointing from the Tarnish's perspective really is in the week before the election, you, you know, I still remember the push that was made, you know, vote for Labour and there will be no cut to China. I remember Rory Quinn on the steps of Trinity College saying to thousands of students and signing it almost in blood, but it was ink, obviously. Um, you know, not only will I not increase, I will reduce the increase of 500 euros in student uh, fees, and um, we will not increase it for the duration of the next government. It's the breaking, the, the, the sort of um, nonchalant breaching of those, breaking of those promises that has destroyed public trust in the two parties, in my view.